Thank you folks, Kieran Cunningham here, speaking on behalf of the Irish Republican Socialist Party. I'm here at Queen's University Belfast, old school in the band arena. We're following up from Michael's broadcast up in Strabane, which we've done last week, in which Michael began to cover our position on uh, issues like the border polls, Brexit, uh, Ireland's position in the European Union, that type of thing. And Michael adequately uh, covered why we we will be uh, campaigning proactively and positively for a yes result in, in, a, in a border poll. We frankly think there's more to be gained than to be lost in taking that position. But what I'd like to cover today is why our party uh, differ fundamentally from other nationalist parties, for example, SDLP, Sinn Féin, SDL, uh, Fianna Fáil, uh, in our approach to a border poll. That is, we, we will not be coming towards a border poll from a position which says we need to stay within the European Union. In fact, we are, we are suggesting the opposite. We are saying adamantly that we believe a united Ireland cannot exist, cannot operate, cannot function correctly within the European Union, and we will be uh, advocating an Irish exit from the European Union. Uh, the reason for this, well, it's quite simple. Uh, the type of republic that we would like to see, the type of united Ireland that we propose, which was the type which was uh, advocated within the 1916 proclamation, quite simply cannot exist within the restricted confines of the European Union. If we look at the uh, entire constitutional makeup of the European Union, namely the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union, which we would encourage people to, to study hard, and if we look at how that treaty has been interpreted by both the European Commission and by the European Court of Justice over the years, we will see a raft of examples that demonstrate quite clearly how member states within the European Union are thwarted, prevented and penalised for attempting to initiate social programmes which are aimed to deliver the welfare and the pro progress for the people of, of member states uh, which do not adhere to free market principles. Uh, we, we would encourage people strongly to look at uh, cases such as, for example, the Guaranteed Irish case of 1982. We would encourage people to look at the Dundalk Water case of 1987 and, and to really study the, intric study the intricacies of both European treaty principles and how they have affected small nations, how they have negatively affected workers' rights uh, over the years. Uh, and we would suggest strongly that even cases right up until very recently, such as the cases such as the Laval and Viking Line cases, uh, demonstrate concretely how it is impossible for a, a progressive, uh, even basic Republican uh, concept of a United Ireland to grow, to flourish, and to realistically uh, be practiced within the restricted confines uh, of the EU. Now, our position uh, on this is set out um, very clearly and very. Uh, specifically in, in, in our policy document, Britain out of Ireland, Britain out, uh, Ireland out of the European Union, and uh, this can be downloaded uh, for free on, from our website, rsp.ie, or alternatively can be picked up from any of our, our four offices in Balaki, Derry, Strabane, and uh, Belfast here. So, uh, uh, folks, if you uh, we would encourage you, if you want to know any more about our programme, uh, we're calling openly for a border poll, we're declaring our position that we will be campaigning proactively and positively for a yes, yes result uh, on Irish, Irish freedom and on Irish unification. But simultaneously and concurrently, we are campaigning for Ireland's, Ireland's exit from, from the capitalist structures of the European Union. Please feel free to, to get in touch with us, to speak with us, or to study it for yourself. All the best. Thank you.